What's up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Ranch Room. And I am your host, Dante. And we are back with another video. And as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in yet again because your support keeps me and this channel going. So do me a favor make sure you subscribe for more content. And happy freaking Friday, guys. So this has been making the rounds on social media well mainly on twitter and it appeared that the atelier series could possibly be moving away from fan service all oh, right no. um but however there are people that say that the interview in question which we're going to recover in a few um minutes from now could be a bad mistranslation and i do hope that is the case although we all know that fan service in gaming has been under a lot of scrutiny here in the West, especially now more than ever, especially from the so-called uh, game journalist. Yet, despite their hatred or dislike for fan service, something that is part of Japanese entertainment, such as anime, manga, and gaming, these smooth-brained Westerners still rush to buy games such as Bayonetta, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, and uh, Dead or Alive, and more, just to cry about how these games supposedly objectify these beautiful fictional women. <laughs> However, um, in most cases, uh, most cases, sorry, their cries uh, amount to nothing. As Japan doesn't really care about them, but it seems their constant crying might have done some damage here. Or maybe the company wants to get lower age ratings so more people can play it or buy it. At this point, we don't know. But anyway, let's get into it before we do that. Make sure you do me a favor and subscribe and hit the notification bell. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. So let's get this page to page 2K subscribers, guys. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video or dislike. That's fine as well. Drop a comment to engage in conversation. Share this video if you enjoy it and follow me on Twitter. Link to that will be in the description box down below. That way you will be notified as well when I post new videos because I typically post it on Twitter as well. So... It says the Atelier series moving away from fan service. A recent publication of the day Nintendo Life went viral on social networks recently. It is an interview with the producer of the game Atelier Ryza 3, to which he would have said that he was making a conscious effort to move away from fan service that the series has become known. Four. The Atelier series of, of JRPG is quite old. The series started with the Atelier Mary Alchemist of Salberg, released in 1997 for PS1, and seeing all the games until you get to Rise Up. None have strong fan service. The girls are cute at best, apart from maybe Placha? Placha? Hope I said that right. From the Atelier Sophie. Uh, Ryza was the first one who pr practically showed more fan service with her thighs being very prominent that's what i've been seeing all over the place <laughs> as you guys can see she's got the thickums right there can't be denied them thighs they're thick anyway um it says even because of that the atelier riser is the best-selling game in the entire series so yes the fan service did help boost sales and the series is much better no um known now which is true people don't realize that fan service helps sales people love to see attractive people on their screens whether it be men or women doesn't matter people love to see it they like to see their characters wear something skimpy i mean i know i know girls to this day who played dove may cry 3 just so they can see dante walk around in just a jacket and some um brown jeans or whatever they were in dove may cry 3 i mean dante is sex appeal for a lot of women and some men which is cool <laughs> but you get my point people love to see attractive people on their screen sex sales fan service sales japan loves to use it as a means to make more money while america moves away from it and well 
see how that's working out for them. Anyway, <laughs> what do you guys thoughts? Drop them down in the comment section. Let's discuss. It goes on to say, what do you mean? Uh, TLDA series moving away from fan servers and the people on social networks were very worried uh, says what do you mean the producer wants to escape the fan service that the first helped uh, at first helped the series to become better known anyway let's see the exact question that Nintendo Life website asks Ho Soi San series producer and what exactly what he was saying all right so it says Having reviewed all of the Switch uh, entries in the series over the past few years, we've noticed a shift from what you might call a more uh, fan service style towards RPGs that feel like they are trying to appeal to a much wider audience. Has it been a conscious decision to redirect the style of the franchise in this way? Now, Hosei san says, yes, it is. We want as many players as possible to pick up the pick up and play our games. For this reason, we are constantly li listening to the opinions of various players and looking for and coming up with content that they will enjoy again. We would, we would be happy if many people think of Gus games when they think of JRPGs. Now, yeah, <laughs> I know you, you, you saw that yourself. You, uh, you, uh, you read it. You heard me read it to you guys. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? The article goes on to say, by the way, that honestly, the answer that Josue gave doesn't really indicate that they are really wanting to run away from fan service. Uh, not even the question asked indicated um, that. I honestly don't even know where these titles came from. But anyway, on March 10th, Josue also gave an interview to IGN Japan where he talked about the game uh, and about... A, a fan service well, about fan service sorry uh let's see what he says uh he says uh there, there jose says that he thinks trida monos right the trader are beautiful and that they wanted to make characters likable and complete same the following for our part we don't want to show the characters in a sexualized way we're very careful about that so um it's not looking good. I do hope that's not the case, but it it does sound like it does sound like he wants to move away from fan service, which I think is a bad decision because now if this is the case, you're going to be losing a lot of your core audience because I mean, of course, fan service is not the only reason you should play a game. But it's also part of the reason why people like to play a game. They want to see attractive characters in their video games or in their entertainment in general. So you moving away from fan service um, for whatever the reason might be, whether it be this or something else behind the scenes, it, it's not going to do you guys any justice. It's not going to be a good move. But um, yeah. I don't know. Do you guys think this is a mistranslation? Or do you guys think that the is he's actually making a conscious effort to move away from fan service? Which I believe which I said before, I hope that's not the case. But as you guys can see from an IGN interview, he does say we don't want to show characters in a sexualized way. But also keep in mind this is also from IGN. Whether it be from IGN Japan or IGN America or whatever, IGN is also known for, you know, their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't be the first time that these journalists mistranslated stuff and posted it on the internet to deceive the masses. Like they have the One Piece situation we spoke about the other day, where people were saying that Ichiro Oda was completely against. Um, fan service. He was saying that he, they were saying that he said that he believes it's morally wrong, which he never said that. All he said was that, which we have the real stuff right here, where he says, nah, it's just something I'm not interested in myself. Even since I was a child, there's been many manga and feature fan service scenes, but most of the time it's done against the consent or will of the female characters. So I feel that having females show their own sexuality out of their own volition, such as with Happiness Punch, it's a much need revolution for the representation of heroines in manga. Never said it was morally wrong. Even articles, which I am horribly, <laughs> I don't know what the Anime Senpai is doing now, I don't get it, but even they chose to run that nonsense on their page and said that right here, which he believes is morally wrong. No, he never said that. He never said fan service is morally wrong. How would you say, 
how could you think that's even true when he himself says happiness punch is um is what he wants that is fan service you can't say it's morally wrong and then show a happiness punch <laughs> what are you what are you even talking about it's like it's contradicting each other but anyway um what are you guys thoughts about it let me know your thoughts in the comments section do you guys think it's a mistranslation or i don't know this is this is quite the situation anyway drop a comment down below in the comment section let me know your thoughts if you're not subscribed make sure you do consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this to nerd and geek culture anime manga and gaming um yeah <laughs> let me know what you guys think i'll see you guys on the next episode and yeah peace